Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And hey, y'all know when you got those characters that you watch in the shows. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And sometimes yeah. they're they're a little they're a little bad. What do you mean sometimes? Ooh. They're a they, little bad. All, all of the characters that yeah, I like they're are bad. always bad. I have bad taste. I, I but, also have bad taste. But here's the thing: <laughs> we have they're, bad taste. You, they're bad, but also you like them. Yeah. What? That's what we just said. Karina and what? I are hot for the for the bad ones. Do y'all know yeah. about that situation? You, ever, you ever heard about this? You ever Is, heard about this? They're, they're are bad, you listening? But... <laughs> they're oh bad. my god, y'all are being kind of problematic right now. <laughs> but you like them anyway. <laughs> you ever heard about this? You're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing problematic faves today. Yeah. Uh, we got this suggestion from Wessel on the Drawfee Discord, which you can also join if you subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah. And they said, Drawfee, draw their problematic faves. You can <laughs> wet our Wessel by supporting the Patreon. Oh, my. Nice. <laughs> wow. Nice. Thank you, Julia. You're welcome. Hey. I've done so, it. This one's a speed draw. I'm we sorry. already done drawed our problematic <laughs> faves. Uh-huh. And now we're gonna yeah. go watch the drawings that we're gonna talk about why they're problematic and why they're our faves. <laughs> and the drawings too, I guess. And the drawings too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, you're up first. You wanna tell us who you did? I did Geralt of hey. Witcher. The Witcher Man. The Witcher Man. Sing me a song, you're a Witcher Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's known for yeah. yeah that's what he says shall we get into it yeah okay three two one go um i wanted to stay as far away from uh actual problematic stuff as possible so i picked a character uh that <laughs> I think in the world he exists in, people find him pretty, pretty polarizing. He's always he's always getting in fights everywhere he goes. People are like, "Hey, you're we don't like you. We're gonna beat you up," and then he kills them. <laughs> he kills them, but only if he gets money for it. That's the Witcher. That's yes. also problematic. Yeah, he's a capitalist. He'll kill you if he gets money, or if or to not get killed by you. Yeah. Like if you're if you're coming at him, he'll he'll end you. Very efficiently. Face yeah. Shape. I see you're drawing a Henry a, a Henry Cavill. <gasps> yes. Witcher. Yeah. This is okay. I'm I don't read ah. I don't read and I haven't played the games so my this is Netflix Witcher. Yeah, I recognize this meat. I recognize this this big booty. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> I the booty doesn't make it into the final. No. That's okay. Render oh, because God. I I needed to keep I needed to keep making him wider. I was like I I did the sketch and was like he's not wide enough. Hen- Henry Cavill's the widest man. He's really wide. Nathan, I yeah. think you're problematic now because you took out the booty. I, I took the booty is left to the imagination. Yeah, it's an implied booty. Yeah, this is, and again, this was sort of an exercise in just um, remembering how to draw. Yeah. Did you forget? I I kind of forgot. So nothing nothing particularly uh, innovative about the the pose or or the the style or anything. This is there's there's a very specific reference image that I was using. Is it Gaston? For the- for the pose, no, it's 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 Henry it's Henry Cavill as the He's Witcher. He's got a Gaston chill, chin and and jaw. That's what his real face looks That's, like. Uh, and again, I did I forgot to to put in. I realized watching it back, uh, I forgot to put back in his little uh, chin dimple that he's got. Oh no, his chimple. But <laughs> but I, I think I made him wide enough that it's yeah. unmistakable. That's anyway. a good width. Yeah, I agree. I love the shapes too. He's yeah. very shapey. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was I was trying to do some fun shapes, and then yeah, there's this there's this picture of him holding the sword like that, and I was like, what if it was stabbing into like a sort of nebulous monster? We love nebulous monsters, and so yeah. that's they're great for composition. <laughs> that's what I did. Yeah, yeah. A little nebulous monster there. It just represents the threats. And listen, for all you Witcher fans out there, I know if he was out on an actual hunt, he'd have put his armor on, okay? But I didn't feel like drawing his armor. So for the <laughs> the headcanon for this image is he was just out on a stroll and the monster attacked him. Sometimes he wake up after sleeping with a lady in the middle of nowhere and he's wearing this and he's being beset upon by a creature. Yeah. Yeah, this is his walk of shame. <laughs> I played morning. Witcher. I played the Witcher games. Yeah. This happens. Okay, good. Look, look. It's, fine. it's not it's not your problematic fave if you're not drawing them in like a somewhat overly casual way. Yeah. Yeah. In my opinion. Also Nathan right. this value work. Mwah. Mm. Yeah. Thank Delicious. You. Yeah, I just went with sort of the last speed draw style. That I did, and I, I, was, I just wanted to play around in that. It's a good style, dude. Yeah, it's fun. I like this. I like doing the value work first and then just plopping some colors in because it's yeah. uh, sort of muted colors in the show yeah. anyway, for the most part. It's this sort of very like dark fantasy, also, that, grim That's very world. proper art, like artistic form <laughs> doing your value study and then doing color. <laughs> well, great. Then I did it. <laughs> Nathan's so a proper cool. little art lad. I'm a proper art lad. Yeah. <laughs> we know. This kind of looks like it would be like the 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 Batman the animated series. Oh yeah. The Witcher. Yeah. Which oh. I love. Yeah. Wow. Maybe it's that. It's got that vibe. Yeah. It is that chin shape. Yes, I did. I did make his his face a little bit, a little bit more chinny. But that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, that's why I did oh, it. I love the way you did the hair. Yeah, hair looks great. Thanks. Yeah, this was a real just sort of mess around until I I was satisfied sort of yeah. process. Did you find it relaxing to shade this whole thing? Uh. Yes and no. Okay, I was about to say it looks like you did. This looks fun. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it was. It's just like again, it's that thing where when you're doing digital painting, there's always a point or several where it like it, it you don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. And you just have to push through those. Like when it when it looks bad, it means you're close to having it look really good. Yeah. <laughs> True. That's definitely the case. It it's been it's. It can sometimes feel like prohibitive, right? Because it's you do your sketch and you like it, and then you start adding to it, and then you're like, "Wait, I liked it better before." Yeah. But then eventually, it gets better again. Yeah, you can't retreat. Much like The Witcher, you must press yeah. onwards. Much like The Witcher. Yeah, against your foes. <laughs> I was basically the Geralt of this drawing, and oh the drawing God. was the monster or the the mean men in a tavern damn nathan you are like the witcher of this drawing you're right <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm the witcher of my witcher drawing yeah <laughs> this is a self-portrait you don't even realize it yeah, yeah that's this you. is me i'm someday i'll be this wide maybe <laughs> <laughs> working on your wit in 2022 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um that's it that's all right. It's really cool. It's got yeah. such like mood and vibe yeah, to it. Yeah, the values. Thank you. I like it, Nathan. I yeah. would watch a whole cartoon series of this Witcher. Yeah. There's a lot of values in this, but also a lot of value. <laughs> hey. In Thank what you. you learned. Yeah. I do love this rendering style that you've been working with. Just trying it out. It's Experimenting. so good. Yeah, it's yeah, fun. fun. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Nathan, good job. Woo! Yay. I'm the one who goes next. 
You uh, are the one. Indeed. Go. <laughs> As before I start, here's the deal, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So my original idea was I wanted to do Hisoka from Hunter Hunter. Uh-huh. Um, and I did do that, but while I was thinking about what I wanted to do, I was also thinking, like, if I did a female character, who would I want to do? And I remembered one of my earliest anime crushes <laughs> of uh, Ryoko from Tenchi Muyo. Oh. And I, oh. Could, I couldn't stop thinking Old about school. her, too. So I did them both. Wow. wow. All I, right. I did a twofer. So yeah, I'll, I'll get into Imagine it Imagine if those two met. It might go a little something. <laughs> like this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to count it off. Three, two, one. Uh, yeah, so I basically, I thought about like drawing them like together, but <laughs> I quickly abandoned that. I decided I want to just do both of them in kind of their own little panels. Yeah. Uh, cause it, this, this was a real like sort of self-indulgent in the sense that I didn't do anything uncomfortable or like anything I didn't <laughs> want to. I just wanted yeah. to draw two characters I liked. Hell yeah. Um, as for why they're problematic, I mean, if you've watched Hunter Hunter, you know why he's so problematic. <laughs> it's because he's like a, a, a fight horny clown. Yeah, he's one of the only two characters I liked in Hunter Hunter. He, <laughs> he's really horny, but he's only- So that's only... how you know, because Julia liked him. Yeah. <laughs> you know he's particularly bad. Yeah, he's, he's only <laughs> horny for fighting strong opponents, but he's like really obviously sexually horny for fighting strong opponents. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> every time he shows up on screen, I'm like, hell yeah, there he is again. There I can't he is. wait to see what he's about to get up to. <laughs> Finally, some My delicious boy. fucking food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like just a sort of a nasty guy, but I, I just really like him. And every, I think he's a really fun character that, uh, is very compelling. To... He makes you uncomfortable in the way where, you know, you know what he's about. He's not going to surprise you and yes. it's going to be fun. He's he does have a set of like rules and values that are consistent yeah. with him. Um which I like. Um and then Ryoko from from Tenchi is like a space pirate and um she's problematic just because she's uh she causes a lot of problems. She's really strong <laughs> and like <laughs> she causes problems. She's yeah. strong there and aggressive. Go. She's really aggro and she like destroys a lot of things and she's pretty like aggressive with her pursuit of Tenchi who uh, is you know not always like the most receptive to her advances but she's got so much charm and class not class that's the class. wrong word <laughs> she's got so much charm she's a classy lady she's charisma. not classy at charisma. all charisma that's what I was trying to say thank you got Karina. you um, and again she's a character that whenever she's on screen it's like you're just so happy to see her and what kind of shit she's going to get up to. Also, the trope of character that's a little aggressive in their their pursuits was such a, a trope of the of that era of anime. Yeah, yeah. it, it you know? super was. Um, and I think they really liked to do like, especially like women who aggressively pursued the, you know, milk toast male character. It was like a <laughs> yeah. sort of fantasy situation. Everyone loves mm. this bland man. Yeah. <laughs> Um, although Tenchi, I did like as a character. I think he has more going for him than being a milk toast yeah. protagonist. But um, if if anyone doesn't know Tenchi, I don't know if you can like go back and watch like Tenchi Universe at this point. But it was on Toonami with like Dragon Ball and and uh, Gundam Wing and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So it hit at that exact same time for me, where like every anime was great because it was anime. Yeah, yeah, and I could watch it on TV. I remember watching bits and pieces, but I didn't understand the plot because it was like I was a baby. But I do remember the cute little rabbit. Yeah, Rio Oki. Rio Oki. The rabbit that turns into a spaceship. Yeah. Oh, I also I feel like get one of those. the age that we were and the way that we had to watch this, you would catch like episode two, episode seven, episode eight, <laughs> yeah. episode 12. Totally. Episode Kids 84. These days have it so fucking easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they really do. Unless you want to go out and buy the VHS or DVD. Yeah, which are freaking expensive. Yeah. yeah. Or they're from the kiosk in the mall where they're like bootlegged. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you never know exactly what you're going to get. Also, just obligatory. God, I love watching Jacob Inc. Yeah. Yeah. Slick as hell. It's so nice. Thank you. Like I said, it's a very, this is a very Jacob piece. I didn't try to like go outside my comfort zone at all. I just wanted to. I love a classic Jacob. I just wanted to have a nice time because I, I just love these characters. And yes, they may have their problems, <laughs> but they're very compelling. Yeah. Um, they balance out as, the milk toast. As long as you don't learn any lessons from yeah. them, then it's yeah. fine. <laughs> don't model your behavior after them. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike the people who look at the Joker and go, that's me. That's me. <laughs> I'm the Joker. I'm the Joker. <laughs> He's so right. Yeah. Replace all Joker inspiration with his soak. <laughs> He's he soaker. His soaker. <laughs> He's soaker. I don't even know her. No, no. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> mm, I take that one back. You ever just Too say late. something and then it's out yes, there forever? All the, yeah, all the time. That's I think that's the appeal of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I was doing limited color palette, and then I removed some of the interior oh, lines. Oh, hell or, yeah. Or colored some of the interior lines. Yeah. And I just <sighs> thought that looked nice and made those like exterior thick black lines Ooh, pop. It does look nice. Ooh. Thank you. Jacob. Thank you. This is this is pleasant as hell. Yes. It I was just a nice time. A clean, classic Jacob. It's so classic. You know, this is what the people oh. are, are oh. here for. Oh, a little yeah. bit of yeah. a little bit of red in the blue and blue in the red. Oh, we it's get some shading. Yes. And then I, yeah, I shaded with the opposite tone for each yeah. one. Yeah, this is such a t-shirt design. It yeah. becomes more a t-shirt design <laughs> as it continues. I was inspired by uh, Julia recently made a shirt for our Twitch stream, Secret Sleepover Society, that mm -hmm. has like this '90s VHS aesthetic, and this yeah. is going to have. The exact same aesthetic because I liked the shirt that she did so much. Well, thank you. Can we do this but replace these copyrighted characters with a Newsdays? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Probably. Probably. We could have we could our two anything. problematic faves, Jacob and Karina. <laughs> <laughs> it's us. The problematic ones. <laughs> A kid. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. yeah. I see yeah. you also attend the school of oh boy, slap a grid on it. Slap a grid on <laughs> I'm it. I'm so into slapping grids on things lately. I it's approve. Great. I love this. <laughs> uh yeah, this is the final piece. I thought it ended up kind of looking like of its of the Tinchy era. Yeah. Yeah. And I really liked it and I like these characters. Thanks for Ooh. watching. This is great. Love it. I Beautiful. Don't have a problem with this. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> Neither do I. I am. Uh, next up, we got Karina. Oh, okay. Tell us what you got going on over there. Well, so as we established in the intro, most of my faves are some degree of problematic because I have bad taste and I will not learn. So I was trying to think of like who's something like who's someone who's like problematic ish, but like I haven't drawn them 500 bajillion times mm -hmm. um, or for this show. So I landed on my favorite racist from Great Ace Attorney. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> Barrick Van Zeeks. Yeah. Uh, vampire boy himself. Yes. Who. Uh. Uh, we we just it is period appropriate racism, but <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. I, look, I'm not here to defend him, but I am here to go absolutely ham on a illustration of him because I think he's such a beautifully designed character. <laughs> His aesthetic is wonderful. Yes, yes. and uh, I also spent so long on this drawing as is appropriate for me and the topic of this episode combined. So let's go, why don't we? <laughs> All right, three, two, one, go. So I'm 
gonna refrain from doing like spoilers because I know some people haven't finished the game still. But hey, I'm on uh, the last case. <laughs> but uh, his whole thing is that he is the Reaper of the Bailey. He's like a little court Reaper. So uh, and people who he doesn't acquit get killed. And that's like his curse. So I wanted to kind of lean into that like Grim Reaper aesthetic, which meant drawing skeletons. Oh, so yeah. that's why this took me so long because I decided it'd be fun to draw some skeletons. So uh, that takes up most of the time. And as you can see, uh, uh, that just happened. I had a lot of trouble drawing the skull using only reference. So I ended up doing like these little studies of them and then drawing over those. <laughs> oh. uh, so it was, it was just a lot of that. And um, this pose I took from that one really bisexual picture of Anne Hathaway. Yep, where, I was gonna ask. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just that picture, but with skeletons and Van Zeeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, just just a lot of I, I don't know. I also have a lot of trouble drawing these like up angled heads. I am not Jacob. So uh <laughs> I did I did rework the head a ton because I'm just I get really confused by like the jawline. So uh that I also I, I was working a lot with like doing these kind of like painting in the values and then drawing over them sort of thing. So this was a fun one uh, to do line art on. <laughs> so I just spent forever on this. <laughs> Yay. Drawing um, skeletons is so hard. Yeah. But it's, look. Also, I don't care if they're not accurate, okay? This isn't anatomy class that I already took and drew proper skeletons for. This is, uh, I am drawing <laughs> fan art of this Ace Attorney character. So no one <laughs> no one come at me if the there's not a correct amount of ribs. I did not count. I don't care. <laughs> Some of them maybe fell out. <laughs> yeah. You don't know. This is a stylized skeleton. <laughs> but... Uh, this was a real pain to do, but I also really enjoyed it. It it was it was something new, fresh, and fun. Yeah, in that I, it's been a really long time since I've drawn skeletons. I guess so. Yeah, I'm uh, sure. Yeah, this took freaking forever, and uh, and I decided, oh, what better way to make my life worse than by doing a really thin line style with this one? <laughs> yeah, wow. it looks so, great though. Thank you. Yeah, the line art looks super nice. Oh my Thank gosh. you. Uh, so I think <laughs> I, I I was really I think at this point I was just like on the phone with my brother and being like, "Dude, I'm drawing a skeleton, <laughs> and I don't know why." <laughs> How did my life come to this point? Once I finished anatomy uh, two in college, I was like, "Oh, cool! Never again am I drawing a spine and rib cage." Yeah. And hand. Little did I know that I would simply have to draw my problematic fave. And through the wild power of word association, this is the concept I would land on. Um, and you refused to think of a different one. Yeah. No. I mean, I, I really, I really <laughs> didn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just like, okay, well. <laughs> Because uh, cause the pose that Van Zeeks is doing, there's this one animation he does when he's, like, surprised, where he just, like, sexily grabs his heart, yeah. Yeah, and it's, yeah. like, really dramatic, and that's my favorite animation of him, even I though I do, like... I screenshotted it like hell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As much as I love all of his other animations, especially the leggy, that one is just, like, so special to me. So that's what his pose is, and it was truly just word association that I landed here. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> um, Every time you flip the canvas, it looks like he's trying to look away from the skeleton, but then <laughs> the skeleton's right it, there. It, it, it follows him. Yeah. <laughs> no, stop. Cause, Co cause, no, come on. <laughs> yeah. Like, without spoiling anything, like, it, it is kind of just like, is he causing the people to die or is it his curse? So it is kind of like a, ooh, death follows him sort of a concept I'm going with here. Yeah. And also I wanted it to be really like, 
kind of decorative because his name is Barrick Baroque. <laughs> and also I was reading some of his character design notes and aside from like vampires and grim reapers, one of the notes was fallen angel. And I was like, okay. Oh. <laughs> but I also found that really romantic. So I was trying to work that in as well. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh which was fun because I hate these stupid shoulder things he has, but I realized that maybe they kind of look like feathers. So I was like, yeah. oh, interesting. I don't know. But yeah, so. Van Zeke's, his design and his movements are perfect. Just when he opens his mouth. Yeah, just anytime he talks to your character. Yeah. <laughs> you go, oh, come on, man. Yeah. Also, once I start doing the color on this is when it gets... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I still have to draw the freaking sword. But, uh, yeah, once I start doing the color on this, it does get a little stroby, so uh, be warned. Because uh, this did take me uh, many hours, approximately 12, in fact. So this is yeah. a slightly longer speed draw, uh, but it still runs pretty fast. So just be careful. Is that is that a new speed draw record for it is. I think it longest? Is. Oh, yeah. God. And for this bitch, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, King. Julia learned Blender <laughs> faster. Yeah. Well, it's because I drew two skeletons. Also, I did this yeah. like painting shit and then I decided I didn't like it. So Fair. I just uh, worked backwards from the background to kind of put some like decor down and then I started over again with the painting but with a warmer palette. And I spend a long time doing like the face because I felt like that really kind of brings the character to life rather than also clothing is a lot easier to shade yeah. for me when you're yeah. doing like a painting style. So that's not a very girl. But uh, yeah, so I, I just lovingly rendered <laughs> this asshole's face for a while. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and yeah, so, and then the rest of this, I'm just like painting, which I, I've i been doing, I've been trying out different coloring styles more that I switched programs to Clip Studio because I like the brushes better. Uh, So, yeah. Yeah, the painting's looking really cool. Yeah. Thank you. I, I always get frustrated when I do like painting with line art because I'm a very I'm very messy with painting, but like not with my line art. So it's a fun it's fun to mix the two. And by fun I mean frustrating. But I think <laughs> I think with this one I managed to find the right combination of methods uh for me. Yeah, with, I like it so far. My intent. I wanted it to just look kind of like old timey and pretty. <laughs> Yeah, it almost um, looks like a uh, ink wash ish, yeah. which is very appropriate. Yeah, I was I was trying to find a brush that had a bit of grain to it, like a bit of a texture, but mm -hmm. eh, I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but then I just ended up using like other brushes that were totally smooth anyway. So whatever. <laughs> Are you using like a like a a blender brush in there too? Like yeah, to I'm using like a watercolor brush, a marker brush, and a blender brush. It's a combination of the gotcha. three and then like some spray brush to do a bit of just like overall shading and vignetting yeah mm -hmm. yeah so vignetting. gotta love a subtle vignette dude yeah you must there it is you must there it is so, then this is just where i adjust all the colors all <laughs> wacky <laughs> Zoom, and then uh, yeah that, that's Gorgeous. Basically it. <laughs> Whoa. It flashed so much and then yeah. it became beautiful. Yeah. It's like also, that SpongeBob meme of draw I, a circle. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, at some point, because I know people love to look at file names on these feed draws, it switches to just the regular file to two because I cropped out a lot of the skeletons, but I had too much pride <laughs> to, <laughs> to save it without the skeletons uncropped because I spent so long on them. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. But yeah, that's my piece. This is and so that's... rad. It's got such a vibe to it. Thank yeah. you. Beautiful. I, I really had fun with this one. And for who? For who, <laughs> Barrick? 
<laughs> for you. For you. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Mr. Microaggressions over here. But Be better, Van Zeeks. Yeah. You alcoholic racist. <laughs> <laughs> you wine ant. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> This rules. I'm I'm so excited with how it came out. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is so good. Too. I'm pretty I, I'm glad. It, it came out. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure for a bit there, but yeah. All right, Julia. Me. You're the final one. I am the final one. So if I were only allowed to draw one thing for the rest of my life, it would be problematic men in suits. Mm. <laughs> um but when we were all discussing the characters we were going to draw, it was very dude heavy because uh, I didn't know uh, Jacob was throwing in uh, a lady in there. I didn't know yet either. It was a bonus. Yeah. Uh, no one knew. So I challenged myself by drawing uh, a very pretty lady. And by very pretty lady, I mean she's very pretty and also is the god that lives between all of girl boss gatekeep and gaslight gaslight gas yeah that other one <laughs> that other one <laughs> and that is yes makima from chainsaw man Ooh. yeah she's a real not a mess no but a real monster oh she's a real monster you're going to wish she was a mess <laughs> yeah <laughs> you can't help but love her but the second you see her on the screen you go Haha, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> you go, I'm in danger, but also she hot. Uh, should we start? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Uh, so I don't, I'm not super <gasps> comfortable Ooh. yet with drawing uh, ladies uh, because I draw very geometrically and very mathematically. So curves are very hard for me to process. Uh, and I, I never find a style that I like for drawing <laughs> women. Yeah. It's Don't worry. Like Lego Makima. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, the thing that I like about Makima is that every time she's on screen, she has a very quiet, threatening aura. I have such... Yeah. Every character that I like in literally any piece of media is the character that is... Um, very calm on the surface and just <laughs> very manic uh, on the inside. Uh, and oh. you can tell that something's going on <gasps> underneath the surface here. Because uh, she's always just doing this little smile, this very intense smile uh, in the manga. So I wanted this, this straight on, the straight on uh, angle where she's looking directly at you um, we're all in danger. We're all yeah. in danger. <laughs> she's she's noticed us. I'm also trying Me? to be. I'm trying to be, and I think I said this last time too. I'm trying to be more okay with just drawing a character instead of a full like illustration that tells a story. Yeah. Uh, because I think Makima's most effective when it's just a big panel of her. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's but very I mean, that tells a story. Yeah, yeah. for sure. A portrait can tell a story. You've just proven that. Yeah. Because we're in danger. We're in danger. <laughs> but I'm always very uncomfortable with it. Because um, yeah. I, I always think that it's not enough. Oh. So I, I finished the drawing very quickly and the coloring. And then I doubled my work time by futzing. And it was just because I can't, I can't accept that something is like enough. I always feel like I got to do more. Um, so you'll see. You'll you'll see that I just start futzing with the background a lot. I'll hand it to you. I like where this is going. Yeah, Thank this you. This is yeah. so cool. I think it's really cool already. This is where yeah. I start futzing. Ooh. Because I want I want more attention to the eyes. Basically the the problem I was having was that I wanted all of the focus to be on the eyes and like the the kind of threatening energy, but I felt like there wasn't enough attention directed towards there. So you see that I'm I'm trying to like add things around her. Um, she has Who like hand is that? There's a lot of like hands motifs with her. Um, 
a lot of fan arts you see of her, it's like fully smooth animations of hands. It's very cool. Yeah. <gasps> um, <laughs> Look here. Look at this. <laughs> you, see, you seen this shit? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted... There's also um, in Chainsaw oh. Man, they use very poppy colors. It's also a really gross manga, I will say. It has, there's a lot of like organs and blood. And so if you're not like good with gore, I, I wouldn't watch it or read it. Well, watch it. The anime is coming out soonish. Um, but I, I don't know. I really liked the poppy colors that are in Chainsaw Man. Yeah. Look like confetti for a second. Yeah. It was, it was, <laughs> so it'd be like, yay. Gonna be a little, <laughs> little bullets. Well, little you bullet really chills. did butts, huh? Yeah. I'm telling you, I finished the piece in an hour <laughs> and then I futzed for another hour. That's valid. Yeah. I really liked the fingers pointing, actually. I gotta be completely honest. I typically cut my futzing out of the speed draw. <laughs> yeah. I left it in here because. <laughs> I do it. It's in process secret, with shame. Yeah. yeah, people want to see the process. I leave most of it in. Yeah, yeah, just not I, to this degree. This is admirable. I went into oh. this completely head empty, no ideas, just wanting that energy that Makima has, which is, um, you know, again, literally my favorite trope of calm on the surface and horrible on the inside. Delete these chains. Well. Are you going to delete the chains, Julia? My favorite thing about the chains is you you made a basic chain shape. Uh-huh. And then you add you you copied it around. <laughs> Sick, Julia. And then you started adding the details. <laughs> there to they go. Each one. Oh, there they go. Well, They're gone. I knew, I knew it was too coming. Late. <laughs> I I I did a basic one, but then I did details on top so that it's more it's less like computer stiff. Right. Like, perfect. Yeah. You get the different angles of all of them. That's fair. yeah. Uh, oh, I just back I just know I'm I'm just thinking if it was me, God. I'd be like, <laughs> I gotta oh, chains are back. Chains are back. Oh, in but a now way. they are being now you are copying the okay. Oh. It's because I truly didn't know what I wanted to do. Oh that's fair. <laughs> I liked everything yeah, that each, you did. Each version is good. Every yeah. iteration has been cool. Knife. Yeah, I wasn't. I mean, again, this is very <laughs> uncomfortable for me to just draw a portrait. So I do a lot of stuff. <laughs> I just want to scream oh. stop at you. Oh. 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 This feels like that Willy Wonka scene where they're going through the tunnel. This is performance art. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah. I'm just trying stuff. God, yeah. this is like every cool aesthetic. You, yeah. you, you're trying every cool aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, aesthetic speed run any percent. Okay, now it's a different hand. <laughs> yeah, that's a different hand. She has a lot of pointing. I liked the other points. <laughs> I think at this one, it's like you were pointing it at you, the artist, being yes. like, hey. Yeah. Oh, see, the hands were back for a second. Oh, oh. knives. Knife, gun. Gun. <laughs> I can't so much. wait yeah. to see what you land on. <laughs> Chainsaw. Don't worry, it's unsatisfying. Swords. Don't say that. <laughs> Long gun. <laughs> oh, hands the are fingers back. are back. I thought like hands and chain maybe. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> we landed on the chains. I'm so yeah. glad. <laughs> I like the chains the best, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Because I feel like you had it like done well, like so when it was, soon when it was so bright green i felt like it dispersed the the your focus too much yeah i agree so yeah. i was i i didn't like it and then i didn't know where to put it and then having it fade there's so much it's like yeah. so dark up there that it felt unbalanced again you got there yeah I again mean, I, I, I am think... uncomfortable doing a portrait so i tried to just do a portrait I think yeah. this is beautiful. A yeah. simple portrait. This, yeah, it's this really rules. cool. I love the feeling it gives. Yeah. Thank you. And the colors are super nice too. Yes. She's she's one of my faves. And I will say at least I got to draw some of a suit. Yeah. Yeah. So that still worked for you. <laughs> a little suit as a treat. Yeah. yeah. She That's is, your anchor. She is one of my favorite 
uh, manga characters, I think, now. I love, again, I love characters like this. I have such a thing for characters like this. Where they come, they, they come onto the screen and I just do the lean in. Like, oh, like, what are they oh, going to do? here we go. Well, these are all great. I feel like we've, We've had such a fun time drawing characters we like. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, even though they got their issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they're still fun. Yeah. And we had fun. They're, they're not real. They're not real. They're just lines. They're just lines. You saw them become lines, which they yeah. already were. So yeah. you know what? <laughs> they can't hurt you. They're fake. They're just pawns yeah. in a story, man. They're here to just help move along a, a lesson. Damn, yeah. bro. Whoa. But we are real and can hurt you. So if yes. we are your problematic faves, <laughs> leave a comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> With a list of grievances. <laughs> and uh, since this is a threat, um, hit the like and subscribe button yeah. or else. Or else. And uh, go to the Patreon if you want to suggest things you want us to draw. We, we also take them from the YouTube comments, but I do scroll that Patreon Discord thread basically every time. So it's, a, it's an easier way to get noticed, I'd say. And other than that, we're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry.